Love that. That was S tier social commentary to anime uh, through animation. Yeah, no. I mean, Meat Canyon is always popping off. They always got some good shit. High schoolers are mourning Andrew Tate getting deplatformed. No fucking way he did his PowerPoint on Andrew Tate. Bro, these, the kids are not all right, dude. The kids are not all right. It's not. It's not. The more the, more the structures make it seem as though like this kind of uh this kind of rhetoric is is not only like it's clownish and we all know it's clownish right but it's also unacceptable and the problem is when you say it's unacceptable then it's only going to make these motherfuckers want to ride it harder because they're like oh yo dude this is like what my parental unit did not want man remember no simping for the hose only for men that's why that that wish we were our fathers It's like, when I see stuff like that, I'm just like, hey, you know what? Fuck it. Like, climate change is going to fucking end it all. Anyway, so. It's all good. The internet has really broken their brain. First generation that fully grew up with it 100% access. No, it's like. I love the idea that, like, uh, you know, TikTok, Facebook, all these guys are like, oh, man, oops, I guess we kind of fucked up with this Andrew Tate character. Time to ban him. When, in fact, like, you know, Andrew Tates have existed throughout time, okay? Andrew Tates have existed throughout time. They're not going anywhere, okay? There's going to be more that come out, like Sneeko, maybe even fucking Aiden Ross. Probably not, though. But, like, this is going to continue happening, okay? Because it is a viable way to make money. They're not, they're, they're never going to actually tackle the problem, which is uh, the algorithms pumping out this kind of fucking shit. These are structural issues regardless. You know what I mean? These are structural issues regardless. And, and you can't, you can't just like uh, take it out by like, you know, cutting the head of the Hydra, Okay. There's always another head that's going to pop up. So we have to get rid of women. Once, Yeah, the only way to defeat the Andrew Tate and misogyny is by getting rid of all women. That's right. I'm the new Andrew Tate. I'm the new Top G. I took, his, I took him down. I took him down multiple pegs. And now I'm the new Top G. Um, but yeah, someone else is going to fucking take that. Someone else is going to take their role. Someone else is going to take their position and and you know do the exact same shit that they're doing and there's always going to be a, a place for that the issue is the algorithms literally fucking pump you into the stratosphere so you know back in like 2016 2017 it was like uh you know alt-right shit there were so many kids that were turning fucking nazi now with TikTok, it's even worse than that. Banning Andrew Tate really doesn't do anything. The Hydra analogy is spot on. It's the algorithm that needs fixing so it doesn't boost these guys. Yeah, but they're never going to do that because guess what, dude? They're not going to do that because that's how they make money, okay? They fucking milked Andrew Tate like Andrew Tate milked misogyny, okay? It's like a, it's like a double bind. Andrew Tate milked misogyny to fucking blow his own personal brand up, right? Um, And then... TikTok and all these other platforms are also milking him because that's more eyeballs. That's more content. That kind of fucking right wing reactionary content is like super easy to, to make. And it's super easy to have people pay attention to it. So when you do that, you know, you're, you're, you're not going to ban a guy like that, or you're not going to ban a guy like that until it's fucking too late because like you're already taking advantage of him. Like, TikTok and Facebook and all these other platforms used Andrew Tate like Andrew Tate used his fucking girlfriends to do his webcam business. You know what I mean? At least your TikTok's on him pop off. I'm bald by choice. I shave my head twice a week. Wait, what? Oh, this is Hasanabi Productions. Of course. Classic. Yet another Hasanabi Productions banger on TikTok. I'm bald by choice. I shave my head twice a week. I could have as much hair as you. I used to have in my other ah! pictures. I can grow my hair. That's the years. biggest cap. You send me a hundred grand. No. Grand I'm bald by. Yeah, no, totally. There's another Hasanabi Productions. I uh, shave my head fucking... twice a week. I could. Another Hasanabi Productions W. 
Speaking of W's, though, speaking of Hasanabi, I made a TikTok earlier today. Dealing with. Okay. I made a TikTok earlier today, and I want you guys to watch it. I'm very proud of it, okay? I made this, uh, I made this on my off day, okay? I got to go pee while this plays. Dealing with flies in my house. The American way. Flies in my house, the American way. That's right. You missed the one on the kitchen counter? No, I, I got that one too, but I killed a couple. Why that music? I don't know. Um, but, Dealing juice with it. but juice it, juice it, juice it. Do you guys like the Siege, uh, the Rainbow Six Siege uh, Jiggle Peak? I'm becoming a, uh, not a big deal, but I'm kind of becoming an auteur. You're really radicalizing them into retaliation. Congrats. Better than liver king because you didn't have to simulate a successful hunt. Yeah. The salt gun is kind of fire. I, I, I am enjoying it. I didn't know you were a dentist. Wait, what? Why? A chatter found you. Yeah, that is me. You can get a laser sight attachment for them. Why are you killing animals? Go vegan, please. Flies have souls. Man, shut the fuck up. That see, that's like a fake vegan. Okay, that's a fake vegan. Who is just trying to make vegans look bad? What is this? Andrew Tate reacts to XCC's goofy ah uh, dance. He's trash, and I don't think we'll ever be friends. I just can't. I fucking despise XQC. I think he's trash, and I don't think we'll ever be friends. I just can't picture a world where he could be valid. You know what I mean? Hold up one second, boys. Someone send me a video. What is this? Holy cheese and crackers, LeBro was going demon mode. Okay, I'll admit it, that was right, but he will never have higher bars. Hold up one second, boys. I'm getting a call. Hello, who is this? Hello, do you know that boy? Do I know that boy? What boy are you talking about? Anyone knows that boy? 
I don't know, he's just so soy. Oh my god, he's more violent than I thought. Sheesh, I'll admit it, little bro, that was fire. Do you wanna go out on a date? Sure, little bro, let's do it. Oh my god, dude. This is like, bro, the fucking juicers are. God damn it, dude. They're so talented. The juicers are so fucking talented. This is like. Yeah, that would be that would have been the good ending, and then he would not be a fucking uh, misogynist who is, uh, you know, banned off every fucking platform. But here we are. Okay, let's get started. Let's talk about the Andrew Tate ban. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Also, juice this TikTok again. Okay. Dealing with flies in my house, the American way. I didn't even just hit that shot. I hit multiple shots. Bro, I'm a vegetarian and I support fly mosquito genocide, brother. Straight up, motherfuckers have had had to deal with hordes of these fuckers growing up. Yeah. <sighs> but why you have flies? Because my my parents are here. Okay. And my mom and dad are like physically incapable of keeping the goddamn doors closed in the house and the windows closed in the house. So, and they also consistently fucking, they also consistently uh, cook and leave food out. Azan, is this your gun too? Oh no, this is, I was at the Clean Boys Manor. Yeah, VC, I do. They they turn it, dude. They turn the AC off. They turn the AC off because they think it's too cold, and they want like clean air to come in or something. It's just like Turkish parent behavior. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this was another fucking cancerous Twitter discourse around Catcher in the Rye. But before that, Andrew Tate has gotten Andrew Tate has gotten clapped on YouTube. He's gotten clapped on TikTok. TikTok has advised that they're also looking to remove the duplicate videos of Tate. The move follows in the footsteps of Instagram, Facebook, also banning him from their platform. Uh, and Andrew Tate is off. He's off TikTok as of uh, as of now. Here it is. Permanently banned from TikTok for breaking content uh, rules. Controversial content creator and former kickboxer Andrew Tate has been permanently banned off TikTok. Um, in a statement to the Washington Post, TikTok said Andrew Tate's account was removed for breaking rules on content that attacks, threatens, incites violence against, or otherwise dehumanizes an individual or a group. Uh, I think a lot of people forget that women are also a part of that. Now, knowing what I know about, uh, knowing what I know about the way that, uh, you know, internet content works knowing what i know about how like reactionary forces operate i'll just say this the next wave in this is to one get involved in the debate sphere and talk about free speech okay two uh turn around and weaponize uh the the same platforms like uh arbitrary guidelines against people that violated on the other uh other side they're going to do the what about violence against men uh, narrative. Why do I know this? Because I lived through 2016 and 2015 as an online content creator who was at the Young Turks, who was on the side that you are all on now. I've been on the side for a very long time. I've seen this dance, okay? I've seen this song and dance play out many times over. And that is where we're going to go because it's an old trope. It's a it's it's a comfortable team uh it's a comfortable team to to play in, okay? And that's precisely why uh they're going to do that. This was my greatest call, like I said on my alt account. My greatest lock of the decade was calling a return to 2015 era politics once Biden got into office and things returned to normal. Reliving Gamergate era politics, we're in the misogyny stage. Next stage is the alt light video game essays defending free speech. And the final stage is Nazis clawing back into public consciousness through the right wing aligned social media algos on TikTok. Okay. And uh, 
that is precisely what's going to happen. Uh, they're going to do that. They've done it before. And they're, they will try to do it once again. They'll turn around and they'll look at all the fucking fem cells on TikTok. And be like, look at all these misinterest uh, fem cells who are saying like, kill all men, fuck all men, blah, 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 blah. And ultimately, there is a distinction between the two. Misinjury does not accompany structural violence in the same way that misogyny does. But obviously, it doesn't fucking matter. Okay? If you... Uh, I mean, here. A, a quick way to describe it is this. Okay? Bigotry, discrimination, and hateful speech or hateful misconduct is simply being mean if it doesn't accompany the historical reference points and contemporary examples of structural violence. The reason why misogyny is bad is not necessarily because like, oh, you're, you know, shitting on women, okay? The reason why misogyny is bad is because society has structurally aligned to oppress women, at least historically, and contemporary remnants of that uh, historical association that historical oppression still exists in society to this day the same energy goes for uh you know homophobia and bigotry of other sorts uh and every single time you turn around and like shit on fucking fem cells which i do regularly right fem cells rad fems they're really fucking cringe they're really fucking annoying right they they go crazy they're constantly they pop off look at any of my tweets where i uh encounter a group of stands and you will see like uh you know i i had the audacity to reply to Megan D. Stallion. And immediately there's like 10,000 QRTs of people being like, you're a misogynist. You should kill yourself immediately. Please kill yourself. You're a fucking misogynist, blah, blah, blah. Those people are fucking annoying. Okay. Those people are incredibly annoying. Having said that, however, having said that, however, yeah, or you're 40, which is the worst one. It's worse than saying kill yourself. Those people are just like fucking toxic. Those people are cringe. Those people are annoying. Um, but ultimately, they are not they're not relevant in the grand scheme of things. They have no power, and more importantly than their own personal uh, lack of power, there is no one, there is, there is nothing, there's no representation of that in our structures, okay? Misogyny versus misinjury is like telling your boss you're fired versus your boss telling you you're fired. Both are not nice, but one obviously has power and the other doesn't. Exactly. Or misogyny versus misandry is like homophobia versus heterophobia. Okay? It's that's it. It's like it's like straight pride. Why no straight pride parade? That's what the energy is. Same with like anti-white racism versus anti-black racism, right? So you can try to reduce it. Uh, and and strip it of all of its context and all of its nuance as much as you want. But ultimately, that is the reality, which is why, regardless of my uh, me being banned for my usage of the C word, okay, and, you know, Twitch coming out and saying that, um, Twitch coming out and basically saying that I'm not white enough <laughs> to be able to say it, um, most people that saw that clowned on it and laughed about it, including like actually racist people. Like even Republicans understand, even conservatives understand that like the C word is not the same as the N word, right? Man, you really do have to repeat yourself a lot. Yes, because uh, none of these problems go away. Okay. Hate against anyone is bad. One isn't as bad as the other, but trivializing hate against men is still kind of fucked. Dude, I'm a man. My brother in Christ. I am a man. I get the anti-men uh, hatred as well. It is a laughable notion to sit here and act like it's the fucking same. That's crazy. You are a crazy person, okay? Yeah, but you are a trans man. I don't know if you want to go along with that route. I don't know if you want to say that because that would, because you're a transphobic person, right? So when you say I'm a trans man, you're kind of proving that like, uh, you know, trans people are, are completely just entirely 100% the same as, as cis people in that regard. You know that, right? Like that's, 
Like that that would go against your overarching uh, transphobic narrative that you're trying to spread, I think. I'm joking, lol, sorry. Okay, well. Anyway, so, and, I, and I've said this before, right? Like, the reason why, um, the reason why the N-word is such a powerful word is, is because it's something different than just uh, a hurtful word, okay? It is a reinforcement of the pre-existing and still existing systematic oppression that black people face. You get it? That's the main difference. Because without chattel slavery, without the history of brutal colonial occupation, without the history of current and uh, subjugation of black communities and black people in general that have been systematically underfunded, systematically cast aside, that have been ruined by the criminal justice system, okay, and a lack of adequate funding, the N-word would just be a mean word. It would be the exact same thing as the word cracker. Okay? The delicious saltine uh, treat is what I'm saying. Do you understand? That's what it is. And that's the main difference. Stop saying see you in a week, bro. Okay, I saved it. <sighs> so, and I think most people do understand that, like most people do understand exactly what that is, but they try to make an argument desperately, I would even say, uh, they try to desperately craft the narrative and seek oppression and seek victimhood where no such oppression or victimhood actually exists in an effort to just like feel kind of better about yourself, I guess, or feel kind of cool. Like you want to get in on it. Okay. Misogyny is a hateful ideology that is not tolerated on TikTok is a laughable statement, by the way. We've been removing violative videos and accounts for weeks, and we welcome the news that other platforms are also taking action against this individual. The Andrew Tate hashtag is still visible on TikTok at the time of writing, but presumably it will be shadow banned, similar to how other controversial or dangerous hashtags have been wiped. The problem is, it, it's, it's laughable. Like, everyone that has ever been on TikTok, even for longer than a fucking second and a half, knows that that is a laughable concept. Like, the idea that misogyny and hateful misconduct is not allowed on the platform is, is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. What is this commentate L? Not me DJing on Andrew Tate's bald ass head. Had no idea who this was. Hashtag Andrew Tate. Hashtag loser. Wait, is that actually him? No shot. Oh my god, that is him, I think. No, read her pinned. This was taken in LA in 2019. I had no idea who he was at the time. Obviously, I do now. I mean, the chin, dude, that chin is like, or lack thereof is a dead giveaway that we might be actually staring at Andrew Tate's bald ass head. Not a lot of men are that chinless. Yeah, he does look like a Bob's Burger character.
kind of mean that she thought she was harassing some random bald dude, though? Yeah, I mean, yeah. For sure. Anyway. So, yes. This is a picture of Andrew Tate when he was 16. <laughs> Come on, dude. So, I mean, it, it, people are having their fun, but, like, if I look at the fucking hashtag right now, I'm sure that there are still plenty of... I mean, there's mostly people clowning on him now, but... If I have a woman who I truly love, and I go out and fuck, and I come back to her, and I don't care about her, and I only love my girl, that's not cheating. That's exercise. If she even talks to a dude, it's cheating. If I have a woman who... Yeah, I mean... Andrew Tate is becoming the most famous... Cobra Tate runs a pyramid scheme for Sigma males. Okay, like, they're, they're, they've definitely cleaned up the hashtag. It's kind of wild to see, like, uh, it, it is kind of wild to see Andrew Tate, like, and only people clowning on him now, rather than, um, rather than people just, like, uh, pushing it. Anyway, so, rather than people, like, pushing P. <clears throat> Um, before this happened, of course, uh, he go he was banned off of Facebook as well, and and that kind of like started the sequence of bans. I I believe he's now banned off of YouTube as well. He has also ended his uh he also has ended his uh, uh hustlers university multi level marketing scheme. Now, am I gonna take credit for all of this? Am I gonna take credit for like successfully fucking clapping Andrew Tate's ass cheeks in front of hundreds of thousands of people? And, and then millions of other people on uh, multiple platforms that ended up uh, causing the demise or at the very least, like, started the demise being caused. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to, you know, I like, I'll just I'll just say it, you know, Seems if you want to see like what started this sequence of L's that my man started taking on July 21st. You can clearly see uh, in this video, I made Andrew Tate run away in a debate, which is now sitting at 1.6 million views. That definitely did. Um. That definitely did play uh, a role. I know a lot of you are still conflicted, saying, well, that was platforming. It's not platforming. He already had the platform. He already had a much larger platform outside of Twitch, but he also certainly was not on my platform. He was on Twitch on someone else's uh, Twitch account, and I uh, was asked to join. So... Um So Andrew Tate, you know, shouts out, uh, pour one out, pour one out for the boy. Okay. Uh, debating alpha bros is a waste of time unless it actually hurt the other person, which you seem to have done. Yes. Fine. Can you please at least mention that you are humble and privileged because you are kind of boasting now and that's not allowed on Twitch. I mean, part of the reason why I was able to successfully, uh, take him down was exclusively because uh, I, I, I am so privileged. I, I recognize those privileges. I use it to my advantage. I use it to your advantage as well, as best as I can try. I, I look a certain way. I sound a certain way. It's hard to make uh, the you're actually a soy boy cuck narrative stick when I'm six foot four, hairy as fuck, and, you know, a, a big dude overall. I myself do not personally abide by such rigid gender norms. Uh, I, you know, I, I think that those are silly, right? <laughs> Someone said, you look gay, though. Yeah, that's not what your mom said, though, last night. Sorry to report this, but uh, I fucked your mom. I'm your stepfather now. And uh, going on a one-day timeout. But yeah, that juxtaposition, that juxtaposition is what uh, made me more successful than other people that also, uh, you know, went after him, I think, in my opinion. Also, if you're a tater tot and you say, I look gay, that's kind of funny. My man is the most European dressed motherfucker on the planet. He is so queer coded. The only thing... Like, I, I was going to say, like, the only thing that uh, takes him away from uh, the only thing that allows him to beat the otter allegations 
is his bald head, but not really. I mean, he just dresses in the most European slash queer coded way possible. Are you kidding me? My man literally wears little slippies like he wears little slippies everywhere he goes. He wears skin tight fucking like velour pants and shit. What the fuck do you mean? Oh, uh, dude, you're gay. Andrew Tate looks like if you tried to draw Pitbull from memory. Jesus Christ, that's good. <sighs> Show the Tate fans this pic. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. My man is flexible. It's great. So. Yeah, including sparkling water, including like riding so hard for sparkling water. Or uh, talking about how you are much better at, like, uh, sexting men than the sex workers under your employ. Um, you know, that's, that's, you know, if you're going to talk about, like, being sus or whatever, like, Andrew Tate quite literally was like, I can sext dudes way better than women can. Like, what do you mean? He straight up admits it. Like, he loved making dudes come. That was his passion. Until, you know, he farmed a bunch of 12-year-olds out of their mother's credit card money for his Hustlers University multi-level marketing scheme. You know? He was joking. He was joking. No, he wasn't joking. That's his business model. What the fuck are you talking about? Anyway. I did watch the Meat Canyon video. Uh, I guess my, my final words on it is uh, Big L. Big L. Major L for Andrew. Major L for the platforms in general. But most importantly, a major L for 12-year-old boys all around the United States of America will now be rudderless. They will be looking for the other next... Um, the, the other next like misogynistic Hydra head that will pop up. Olivia Little of Media Matters says, new Andrew Tate videos are widely circulating on TikTok because of fan accounts despite the platform's promised ban. And it looks like TikTok is doing little to stop the spread of his content. Just searching Andrew Tate brings up a massive list of fan accounts, many of which are quickly archiving their old videos in an attempt to ban evade. There it is. TikTok has consistently fumbled moderating fan accounts that upload duplicated content of banned influencers. This is exactly how InfoWars and Alex Jones content continues to go viral on the platform. It's not the influencers uploading it, but fans. Yeah. <clears throat> us women haters are all us women haters are oppressed. All of our public speakers get silenced. Yeah. Not really. Not really. Misogyny isn't one of those things that like misogyny isn't one of those things that like uh uh you know people often go after you for unless you're literally like Rouge V, you know what I mean? Who was another PUA guy before Andrew Tate, right? Like most of these platforms allow misogyny to continue. Of course they do. It's like very hard to fucking it's very hard to to moderate content like this, okay? Are you making jokes or are you being serious? I make jokes like that all the fucking time sarcastically. Does that mean that like, you know, I'm going to get banned? It's very difficult to, to moderate this sort of shit. Okay. It's very, very, very difficult to moderate this sort of stuff. Anyone, anyone with a fucking brain cell understands that reality. However, Andrew Tate didn't do the Jordan Peterson thing of like constantly trying to carve out a, a, uh, an exit strategy for himself. He never, he never hid his perspective. He openly was propagandizing violence against women on very clear terms. And if you do that so consistently, yeah, you are going to get clapped for fucking misogyny. It's like, it's like revealing your power level, you know? Nazis all over the internet know that you're never supposed to reveal your power level because once someone knows you're a fucking Nazi, it's a wrap, Right? They're not going to take you seriously. Platforms are going to start banning you. You're going to get banned from the Hassan Abbey broadcast and not be able to subscribe at the top of the hour where a 60-second ad break comes, and you're going to be stuck there watching the ad instead of 
not watching the ad and enjoying an uninterrupted broadcast experience, which you can do, however, if you're not banned, by subscribing for $5 or for free because the top of the hour is here. Um, now, of course, if you no longer want to see those ads, like I said, you can subscribe for $5 or for free. Or, uh, Twitch Prime is free. Or by getting gifted a sub, like uh, Dr. Decomposing. Thank you for the five gifted subs, allowing five people to no longer see the ads. Here's the one-minute ad break now. Hassan, Tate was framed by the same by other same looking bald man. You as you have shown time and time again, there are many lookalikes. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um There were a lot of people commenting under your most recent Tate YouTube video that you weren't firmly pro ban, similar to Noel Miller. I watched it and I thought your takes on the ban were a lot stronger like one day after. I don't know what they cut out from the first day. Um, but no, I am. I am. Uh, like, I recognize the the lack of power that we kind of have towards structural issues. I recognize the the lack of power that we have towards like actually fighting against uh structural oppression like misogyny right by 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 taking down like one fucking misogynistic content creator you know what i mean that's like i don't know i don't know how to describe it like that's not gonna fucking solve the issue you know what i mean it's true it's just fucking true but i'm not gonna ride to like keep a, a guy like andrew tate unbanned from these platforms when he very clearly is like championing it like he he nobody asked him to be the fucking ceo of misogyny and he was like no i'm gonna be the ceo of misogyny i'm gonna do it i hate women except no i don't now that i got banned i don't hate women i'm sorry i love women like he could have just been like lightly misogynistic and continued doing what he was fucking doing but no he had to, like, literally, the reason why he was so powerful and so successful in such a short period of time was because he was appealing to the dumbest person. And in order to appeal to the dumbest person, you got to just fucking let it ride. You got to just say it like you mean it, right? The Trump uh, thing. Trump isn't any different than any other fucking Republican with respect to his worldview, with the things that he advocates for, but he says it. He says it in a way that dumb guys understand. And when you do that, you will be very successful. Okay, when you do that, you'll be very, very successful, especially if you are firmly planting yourself behind structural uh, inequalities and structural oppression, uh, like misogyny, like racism, you know what I mean? If you do that, there is already pre-existing social conditioning. So people are constantly looking for someone to reconfirm their biases. Okay. This is much larger than Tate, but the reason why they fucking took the, the reason why they scalped one, the reason why they scalped one was because like, he wrote it. He said he was uh, the, the CEO of misogyny. So what were you expecting? Is there a way to do that but to re-educate them to the light side of the force? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if there is. I wonder if there is a, a way to, uh, I don't know, dumb down content and commentary uh, and make it as broadly appealing as possible from like a leftist perspective. Oh, well, I guess we'll never know if there is someone doing that uh, with like a pretty sizable community as well. I Probably not, though. You know what I mean? Uh, yes, we will talk about uh, She-Hulk is complete woke garbage. Hypothetically, let's say there was a Hulk, right? But female. This would make the Hulk a woke SJW. Um, we will cover this. POV, you checking on your teenage son who can't stop saying bitches to address every woman. You guys are so dumb. I... Anyway, um, I haven't seen She-Hulk, but I 